Well, a good Sunday to everybody. I hope that today has been a great day so far. I hope that everybody has been able to meet together with brethren and to worship God and praise Him. And I hope the day has been a good day for you. Um, it has been so far for me. And today in the Gospel of Luke, we are picking up in Luke chapter 13 where uh, one of my favorite things happens and just kind of uh, funny how things go about and what, you know, how Jesus handles it. Here in Luke chapter 13, picking up in verse 10, we find that Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath day, which Jesus would spend time uh, in the synagogues and or the temple or uh, various things on uh, the Sabbath day. And here he is teaching, and behold, we're told, um, in verse 11, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. So this woman had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over, hunched over. She couldn't straighten up. She couldn't stand up right must have been miserable being in that kind of condition. But Jesus, when he saw her, he called her. He actually calls her to him. And he says to her, Woman, you are released or loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and she glorified and how awesome is this? I, I wish we could have seen it. it. is It is awesome to read about it, but what that must have been to, to actually see it and what it must have been to be this woman. This woman who had for so many years dealt with this spirit of infirmity. It must have been miserable being hunched over, bent over like that, not being able to straighten up. And here's Jesus in the synagogue. And I just picture, I don't know if she was in the crowd. I don't know if she was just you know, randomly walking by somewhere, or sitting somewhere. But Jesus calls to this woman, calls her over, and he just says to her, we're not told at least anything else, don't know if he asked her anything. He just said, woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she can stand up straight. What a feeling that must have been for her to have an instant relief from that infirmity, standing up straight. And yes, she glorified God, and rightly so. She praised God. She glorified God. She would have been so happy, ecstatic. She would have been so thankful. And pe many people would be, I mean, if we were there, it was a, would, that would be an awesome thing to see and praise God for that, this healing, this miracle that Jesus performed. But notice verse 14. The ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because Jesus had healed somebody on the Sabbath day. And he said to the crowd, doesn't even you know, say it directly to Jesus, I guess. He says to the crowd, there are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore, come and be healed on them and not on the Sabbath day. <laughs> really? You know, there's so many questions that come to mind. I mean, one being, really, that this, this, this guy can see a miracle, a bona fide, legitimate miracle, and he, he makes it sound like just an, every, uh, uh, an ordinary, everyday thing. Now, I'm thinking, how many people are being healed like this? How many people are actually doing what Jesus is doing? Here, Jesus miraculously heals this woman, and all this guy can think about is, oh, it's the Sabbath day. You can't heal people on the Sabbath day. That's a work. You can't work on a Sabbath day. This guy is totally blinded and oblivious to what is right in front of him, to who is right in front of him. So the Lord, Jesus, verse 15, answers this guy and calls him out, calls him a hypocrite. 
Or depending on your translation, maybe it says hypocrites, maybe, you know, including any who were there that thought along these lines. He says, hypocrite, does not each one of you, each one of you on the Sabbath, you loose your ox or your donkey from the stall and don't you lead it away to water it? Oh, you can't do that. Can't take your your animals to get water because that's that's working. You just got to sit still and do nothing all day. Jesus says, Does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? So, look, he says, verse 16, So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, She's not an animal. She's not just any person. She is a daughter of Abraham, a Jew, whom Satan has bound. Think of it, he says. Think about it. She has been bound by Satan for 18 years. Should she not be loosed from this bond even on the Sabbath day? Why not? It is a good work. You, he, 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 he rebukes them that they would, they would willingly, gladly help an animal on the Sabbath day. But oh no, you, you can't help somebody like this. You can't heal somebody on the Sabbath day. I mean, this just, it, it baffles me. It, it really does how they could be this. I, I mean, a miracle has been done. But yet they're so blind, arrogant. All they can see is this thing about the Sabbath day. And notice then when Jesus said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame. Because that was shameful, what they were, how they were acting. They were put to shame by Jesus. By the truth he was speaking. And all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. I wonder if on this day, on this occasion, if more things were done. Right now we're told about this woman. And what, how, how awesome that must have been for Jesus to heal her. The relief she would have felt, how amazed the people would have been. Jesus continuing to show that he is the Christ, the Son of God. That he has had, that he had, while he was there on earth, he had the Spirit of God working through him. Let's make sure we're growing in faith in Jesus. And truly think about the things he said, the things he did, and to grow in faith in him. God bless.